Hey everybody, I know I look like a douchebag right now, but I just saw, th or I was just reading this article on the internet, and I just wanted to say a little bit on it, so. Um, a western Newfoundland man w who was sent to prison this spring for molesting developmentally delayed teenagers was released Monday on a day parole. Uh, why would, uh, I don't know why they would let him. His name was Ed Butt, he was 60, and he was sentenced to two years for convictions of sexual assault against two teenage boys. The worst part about it was he was one of the leaders, sort of, of their local ski club and the Boy Scouts, so he was dealing with young children as it is. So that's just absolutely terrible. Um, he sexually assaulted two boys, and he was for the first boy he was sentenced two years and the second boy was 18 months but he got to serve them concurrently which is at the same time rather than consecutively and I just could not believe it so wow <laughs> I left a lovely lovely um, long blog on here and I'll just read it out um, one thing's for sure is that this man doesn't know exactly what rehabilitation means What's the point of putting someone in jail if you don't give them the chance to improve so they are li unlikely to reoffend? Is this what we really want to do with our tax money and our security? I say security because it's exactly that. We are allowing this sex offender to come back into society after less than two years. They mentioned that the jail facility didn't even have a psychological therapy there. Like, they had no form of rehabilitation at all there. So however that makes sense um should we have sent someone there although they didn't get the mental help they needed aside from that I can't help but to put myself in the parents place and even the two boys Ed took those defenseless boys and took complete advantage of them he must have seriously affected the families and I know that if it was my son I would not approve of this day pro like eight months in jail for completely ruining two two people's lives that's just terrible like anyways now I should point <laughs> now I know the point of parole is to bring the offender back into society but should we really let him in so soon those boys are the youth of tomorrow and they're gonna have to live with that forever if we're letting Ed come back into society of which he abused the youth of it what what does that really say about our judicial system it is almost as if everything child relay gets away with the slap on the wrist. They should almost get worse because this the other offender. Ah! <laughs> they should almost get it worse than any other offender because they are affecting a whole child's life. A defenseless, innocent child. Like, I could not believe this. Like, I have so much to say on this. It's terrible. Like, we brought it up in law class and wow. I don't know about you guys, but this is sure sick. He shouldn't have gotten a lot more. He should have gotten a lot more than two years and eighteen months, which he served out once. So that sort of defeats a purpose. The second kid didn't even get anything. <laughs> if anything, he should have gotten at least two five-year sentences to be served consecutively, because that really doesn't help him a lot if he's getting. <sighs> Like, oh, I'm going to go and kill five people because I know that I can get away with doing the sentences all at once. Like, that's exactly what people are going to be thinking. If you have the criminal mind, you're probably going to do it. Um, he obviously never got the treatment needed in jail. And he's more likely to reoffend because that's what happens if you don't get rehabilitation, you're going to reoffend. It's not rocket science. <laughs> um... Does this slap on the wrist really deter other potential sex offenders from doing the same cry crime? Uh, <laughs> I can't read today. Beauty of life, yeah. <laughs> um, if they really know that they can get away with it, they probably will. And isn't that the point of a sentence to deter others from a crime? There are like, I think it's four or five main things that you use for while well, sentencing someone. And they're just so abused in this. Like, will it deter others from doing the crime? Unlikely, because he pretty much got away with it. He only got eight months, and, like, that's just terrible. And then he's out on day parole. 
pretty quickly. They say in March he's going to get full parole, and that's just, that is terrible. I cannot believe it. Um, did it separate him from the society? It did a little bit, but eight months, that's not going to make him realize that his crime, that the crime he did was wrong and how it impacted society and the families involved. I'm sorry, I'm getting a bunch of text messages. Um, did they really assist in rehabilitating the offender? No. They even said that in the article that there wasn't a psychological therapy session in that facility. So it's not like he was able to get any help at all for that. Um, did his sentence provide reparation to the victim in the community? Reparation means like paying back for what you sort of did. Like if you stole a artwork, you'd have to give it back or pay for how much it was. But anyways, no, no, it definitely didn't provide reparation for the victim in the community because these boys are going to be ruined for life because I think they said that they were 13. So that doesn't exactly, it, it just doesn't make it any better because the kids were so young and they're going to be scarred for life. They're completely ruined. And even the community fe fears him. Like, I read one of the blogs, and it said that he had to, he, the one guy lived right beside this guy, and he had to move out of town because he was so scared for this. Like, even my teacher wrote, I discussed this article with my Law 30 class. That would be me. <laughs> and, um... We felt that the per that basically what I said was sort of like what this other person said, and that they have a mature, knowledgeable opinion on the case. Because I'm so sick of hearing unlogical things. Like I can't wait to see the feedback I get on this. But that's just basically my my idea because that's just terrible. Like sure he has a, a few conditions. Like he's not allowed to have direct or indirect contact with males under the age of 18 unless supervised by a responsible adult. Um, he can't have direct or indirect contact with the victims. Like, those are the only conditions to go outside. That is terrible. Like, oh, only males. Like, who's to say he's not going to go and molest some girls now? Like, because he realizes what he got. He got a couple months. So why won't he just go and do it again if he's that creepy of a person? And it's it's terrible because he's he's old. He should like he's sixty years old. He should know better. Like and the the absolute worst part about it is that he was in a position of trust because he was the um he was volunteering with the local ski club and the Boy Scouts. So he was dealing with people, like he was trusted by these parents that let their kids go out to there, just to know that after a bit he molested some people, like, ah. Oh well, that's just my thoughts on it, and this video has gone on way longer than I thought it would, so, yeah. Leave a message and stuff to say what you want to say, but I, I've said what I said, and I just think that's terrible, so, peace out.